In the previous video, we have discussed the theory behind the L system. Now, if you create a new Unity project and download the package from GitHub link that is in the description, you will have a scene called Procedural Town Tutorial. Let's open it up. It is a simple scene with just a ground plane in it. Besides that, I have provided you with some models from Quaternius. I recommend you check out his website. And I have created some prefabs from those models so we can use them on our ground or we can place them in our scene. So in this episode, we are going to tackle the challenge of implementing the L system into Unity. As previously discussed, L system consists of rules, of axiom, so the starting sentence, and of the rewriting function, which rewrites our axiom by changing its characters into the output from the rules that we have established. So I think the best way to implement this is to start with the rules that are the core of our procedural generation and they will have the biggest influence and biggest impact on the result that we get. So let's get going with it. We can clear those messages about self-intersecting polygons. And what we need to do here is to create a new folder. Let's call it scripts. Let's open it up. And inside it, let's create a folder called rules. And let's open it up as well. So for our rules, we need to have an input character and the output character or the word that we want to output. So let's create a new C-sharp script and let's call it rule. Let's open it up. Okay, you can delete the content that was pre-created by Unity because our rule class will extend scriptable object. So let's type scriptable object. And if you are not sure what scriptable object is, it is a form of data container and it will be easier for us to create scriptable object in our assets that contains the rule and we will fill it in what we want it to do inside our editor so we will be able to reuse this rule in for different towns if you have multiple of them. So to use our scriptable object we need to add an attribute so open square brackets create asset menu enter and we have this menu name open quotation marks procedural city or procedural town because it's more of a town and let's call it rule so this attribute will make certain that we can create a scriptable object by right clicking inside our editor inside our assets folder we are going to do that in a minute but for now let's focus on what we want to have here first of all we need to have a public string letter And this will be the letter that will trigger this rule. So for us, it was A and A outputted A and B. So we will need to have a private string. And this will be an array results equals now. Now, this will be a private variable. So we want to expose it in the editor by adding an attribute serialized field. This will allow us to change its value inside the editor, but we do not want to access it directly. Well, we are going to implement multiple results that one letter can output to add variety to our outputs. So to access the result, we are going to create a public string get results method get result and inside this we are going to for now simply return return results and zeroth element this structure will allow us to implement more code here and to get different results based on for example a random value but we don't need it yet so let's leave it like this let's go back to unity and you can right click now here create and we can see our menu procedural city rule let's create rule one 
and you can see that we can provide the letter for example a and inside the results let's add one position and let's output a b okay so with basic structure for creating rules we can now create a main function that will drive the L system and will make use of our rule class. And that's what we are going to do in the next video.